Welcome to the channel. This video will allow you to understand paired sample t-test. After watching the video, you will learn what is paired sample t-test, in which situation we can use it, and how it can be applied in SPSS. So let's begin. If you want to know what is t-test, please watch my another video. Paired sample t-test is the statistical technique normally used to compare the situations in quantitative research. This particular technique is basically used to compare the pre and post or before and after situations. To more understand the concept, let's see the example. Suppose I want to compare the two quiz scores of the students before and after the lecture. In this case, two quizzes have been taken from the students. One is taken before the lecture and the other is taken after the lecture. I want to investigate the effectiveness of lecture for students and want to see whether there is any difference between quiz scores before and after the lecture. Whether lecture plays an important role or not. So, in this case, I have before and after situations. So, paired sample is the appropriate technique. Let's see the hypothesis. So, the null hypothesis is the quiz scores of students before and after the lecture are same. Now, after the application of paired sample t-test, I will see whether to accept or reject the null hypothesis. So, if you are ready, Let's do the analysis. So I'm going to use this data set for paired sample t-test analysis. As you can see in the variable view section, there are two variables, pre-lecture that contains the quiz scores of the students before the lecture and post-lecture contains the quiz scores of the students after the lecture. So I'm going to apply paired sample t-test on these two situations. To apply paired sample t-test, go to analyze, compare means and select paired sample t-test. Now as you can see this is small window. So we have to select the pair. Pair means pre and post. So I will select pre-lecture into variable one box and post-lecture into the variable two box. Now all set, press OK. So this is the output and now we will interpret the results. The rule of thumb for paired sample t-test is if the significance level is less than 0.05 or 5% reject the null hypothesis. And rejection of the null hypothesis means the before and after lecture quiz scores of the students are not same. So let's see the output. Okay, so these are the results of paired sample t-test. As you can see, there are three tables, paired sample statistics, paired sample correlations, and paired sample test. The first table contains the descriptive information related to pre and post lecture. You can see the mean, the standard deviation, standard error, or the number of sample size. The second table, paired sample correlation, shows the correlation between the pre-lecture series and the post-lecture series. So with the help of significance level, you can decide whether the relation between pre-lecture and post-lecture is significant or insignificant. And with the help of correlation coefficient, you can decide whether the correlation is strong or weak. And with the help of third table, paired samples test, you can decide whether to accept or reject the null hypothesis. Based on the rule of thumb, which says if the significance level is less than 0.05, reject the null hypothesis. So in this case, the significance level is less than 0.05, it means I will reject the null hypothesis that says that the pre-lecture and post-lecture quiz scores are same. So based on the results, the pre and post-lectures are not same. It means the lecture plays an important role 
in the performance of a students. So this is how you can apply peer sample t-test and interpret the results. Thank you.